Welcome back. So glad that you joined me today. Now, in life right now, it seems that at every turn and on every side, we're bombarded by, by problems, by situations, by too many questions. Maybe that's something that we should talk about for a few moments. Uh, in, even in the last year, just the questions that it seems that we're bombarded with are on a rise as never before. How do we handle this? What do we do when this is happening? How do we go forward when this or this or that is happening? Now, while it seems extremely crazy, it's important for us to know and remember the very concept that even when it feels as though questions are out of control, out of hand, there's no way to put a finger on everything that's going on. A lot of these questions haven't intensified, they haven't changed, it's just how our perspective is and how that has changed. You know, today happens to be January 20 as I'm recording this. We've got a lot of questions that are going through a lot of people's minds, especially as we're getting ready to transition to a new administration. As we're getting ready to see what God has in store. Now, I want us to remember this. Even though things are extremely crazy and we're bombarded on every side continually with all these questions, God is the one that has the answer and he is the one that's going to see us through. Why is he going to see us through? Because he's always seen us through. We serve a can-do God. He comes at the right time. His timing is not our timing, but it is the right timing. Let's remember that as we continue on together on this journey as a family of faith. Now, today's verse that we're taking a look at comes to us from 2 Corinthians chapter 4. In verses 8 and 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9 says this We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Doesn't matter what is going on, <clears throat> doesn't matter what it seems that this world may do to us. God continues to remind us time and time and time again, even when you're going through these things, look up and remember, I am with you. I've always been with you, and I will still be with you even more and then some. May this be the promise that we hold on to, not just for today, but throughout the ages to come, and throughout the ceaseless ages of eternity, where at that point in time, we won't even have to worry or think about these things because Jesus will be seen by our side. May God continue to guide you, bless you, and I look forward to seeing you next time as we continue to study God's Word together. God bless.